what's up guys charlie here quick video um I, i've gotten a few comments about um my saitama videos you know people always um, make comments um that saitama is you know rock pool um it's not gonna make it ross is this whatever it is about saitama negative stuff about saitama and and, and i have nothing against that but i just want you guys to know for me i've been making saitama videos since last year um probably september or probably september august september i started making making saitama videos and i've made about 80 saitama videos and you can see some of them there um they've gotten pretty good views on most of them and so i've made good money making that content and um and not just that i've also made good money on the token itself I've, I've been, I invested in Saitama probably like about, um, probably just after it came out, probably around August of last year is when I first bought in on, on Saitama. I bought a little bit of it. And when I saw how fast it was taking off, I put some more money in there. So I did go ahead and, and take my initial investment and I also took out some profit. I invested in some other, in some other stuff. And to be honest with you, if I had kept the money, in Saitama at the time, I would have made more money because I went ahead and took money out and invested in other, in other um, cryptos that just didn't do nothing. No other crypto have done for me or for a lot of other people as well as Saitama. I'm both in content and also as a crypto on a whole. Yes, it dropped down. Yes, it went back down to almost where it started, which was a great thing for me. When Saitama went down, I couldn't wait for it to go down further and further. I know people were losing money. I understand that. But when I saw it went down below my initial investment that I made in August, I went in. And I'll tell you guys, I went in on Saitama somewhere in May, I think it was. So if we go back in May, um, I think right around May 17th or 19th, there were two dips in May. Um, it one went down almost to the ones I didn't have a, a chance to get in, but as, as it was on its way up, going back up to the twos, I went in there and I put a little bit of money in there because I wasn't sure what the market was doing. And then it went up, it came back down about May 20th, it, it jumped back down and right in there, I went in again and I put some money in because what I was trying to do is trying to average my costs. Right, average my cost in the sense of I was already down from last year and it went down and the price went down further. So I bought the dip. People always tell you buy the dip, buy the dip. And one thing I've learned about crypto, and I know a lot of people are afraid to invest when the market is red and things going down, they're afraid to invest. But I've been in this for a while now and I'm learning and I've learned that <laughs> when the market is red, that's the best time to buy. It's just that some of us afraid to buy in the red but i went ahead and i put some money in there and i was just looking at my portfolio today in my in my um coin in my um coinbase wallet and i am kind of up i am almost to where i can take out my initial investment from it but i choose not to right now because i think i'm feeling that saitama is gonna shoot up if bitcoin goes up ethereum goes up if everything goes up I think it's gonna go up further. And if it does, I think there's a chance to make a bag. So I have, right now I have like about Saitama in three or four different places. I have some in Bitmat. I have some on my, on my, um, on my ledger. I just have some new ones that I bought um, in my Coinbase wallet. And I'm just waiting for like a while. If it goes up really quick, I'll take out my investment in there probably take some profit or not it's just i have to chew i have to look at the market to see what's going on and then if everything goes as planned then i'll put it on on my on my ledger right there and just put it and forget it in there when it's on there i will forget that it's there and just hope it it's a long-term run and if it does what it's supposed to do hey we'll make some money um if it doesn't i already take out my investment i already take out my profit so I don't care, well, not that I don't care, but if it doesn't do what it's supposed to do or what I feel it's supposed to do, I can live with that because again, investment is out, 
profit is out. That's the most important thing. That's something I've learned um, for, you know, in the last couple of years, I've learned that from since the day, the days of Dogecoin. So it is what it is, guys. So, I mean, I understand for some people, um, they put some kind of personal belief in, in cryptos. I have learned not to do that. I took this out a long time ago before, just around the time, the time of Shiba. Um, I don't follow Twitter. I mean, I do go on Twitter and, and look for the news, but I don't do the gossip and the backfighting and stuff like that. I, I kind of do that kind of stuff. Guys, this is Charlie. Like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.